so here i have uh, all the equations and calculations done so first these are the values of the variables uh, v is the velocity of sound the speed of sound f is frequency of the source v1 v2 are speed uh, of train that are moving towards each other vw is uh, the well velocity of wind that is present in part b and c so first we write down the standard equation of uh, uh, doppler effect and that's given by equation 17.47 so this is the equation and we will apply this to each of the cases like part uh, to each uh, parts of the problem now let's say train one is the one that's blowing the whistle and uh, train two has the listener in it so train one is our source and train two is the detector and this means that the sound wave is traveling from train one to train two and hence uh, this green arrow mark green curly arrow mark in each of these parts and i have denoted that uh, v over here marking the velocity uh, sorry the speed of sound and these black arrow marks uh, uh, show the direction of the train and since they are moving towards each other hence the arrow marks are towards each other now so again as i said the whistle is blown from train one and uh, the listener is on train two so the wave travels from train one to train two since the wave is traveling towards the detector and away from the source the frequency heard by the listener should increase this means that f dash should be greater than f and for this condition to satisfy we should have a plus sign on the numerator and minus sign on the denominator so we want f dash to be greater than f <clears throat> and for that we should have a greater value of numerator and a smaller value of denominator so we choose those signs accordingly <clears throat> now we will apply this equation to each of these parts now in the first part we don't have any wind blowing so the air is still and therefore vd the velocity of detector or the velocity of the listener is simply velocity of train 2 and Vs is velocity of the source that is train 1 and we use plug uh, these four values in this equation and find F dash to be 598 hertz. <clears throat> now coming to part B. So now wind is blowing from train 2 to train 1 from the detector or the listener towards the source. Therefore in a frame of reference where the air seems still we should have vd to be v2 vector plus vw vector and they should have the opposite sign they should be opposite uh, to to each other in order for the air to seem still so what i want to say that so this is the actual direction of wind and if we go to a frame uh, of ref uh, if we calculate everything with respect to a frame of reference where the air seems still then we should have the direction of wind so we should have the velocity of the detector such that the wind is kind of blowing along this direction and these two cancel out in order to show that the air is still so what i want to say is that we should go to a frame of reference which ha which is moving uh, from train one to train two with a velocity equal to the velocity of wind but opposite in direction such that it will seem that there is no air flowing uh, in that uh, frame of reference so for that 
So now we do we find VD and VS in that frame of reference where the air seems still. So VD will be V2 vector plus VW vector. So we are using relative velocity addition. So V2 vector plus VW vector, but these two are opposite, but they have the same magnitude, so they give zero. And Vs is, as you can see, they have the same direction and same magnitude. So they add up and give 61 meter per second. And then plug in each of these values in this equation, we get F dash to be 608 hertz. Now for part C, the case is reversed. We have wind blowing in the opposite direction now. This means that uh, we need to pick a frame of reference where the air seems still, which means that that frame of reference should be moving in this direction that is from D to S such that its direction and the direction of wind cancel out and uh, air seems still in that frame of reference. So this should be the direction and velocity of the frame of reference. Now, again, we calculate VD. So VD will be by relative velocity addition. So now these two have the same direction and same magnitude because V1 and VW uh, have the same magnitude. So oops, this is actually V2. So we add them up and get 61 meter per second. And for Vs, so as you can see, they do have opposite direction and same magnitude so they give zero and again plugging these two over here along with f and v we get f dash to be 589 hertz